president. I'm here on Riverside on November the 23rd, a month after the election, on the cheater Dave Sidhu. Dave Sidhu's family, one of his members of his family, told me he was under investigation in the last election, the by-election, by-elections BC. I haven't confirmed that, but that was one of his family members. But what I'm here today for is to announce this. I met yesterday afternoon with Andy Sudhu, Dave Sudhu's dad, about the incident during the election at UFV. Andy Sudhu has made it clear that he did not pull the favor to pull me out of the debate at university. He did not do it for his son. He made that clear. So I will state this, Andy Sudhu. My word is binding. I am here today to make sure that Andy Sudhu's name gets cleared. He said, I didn't do it. My son did it. But here's the thing, as the chancellor of the university knows, the man that issued the threat for Dave Sudhu went on live audio tape, threatening a politician, which is against it's a federal act, and Andy Sudhu, as the chancellor, has not removed the man from the university, has not caused the university to bring the RCMP and in charge the man that issued the threat for Dave Sudhu. The gentleman still holds his job, the university says. That is unacceptable. He should be charged and investigated. He has a right to his view like everybody else, but that takes place in the voting. You don't like the candidate, you vote him out, you vote him in, you don't threaten. The university has made the statement to me that they never authorized this man to use the intimidation of security or nothing. The cheater did. So the cheater who belongs to his dad's newspaper, the Capri newspaper, runs around Abbotsford that he's this big hero because he belongs to the newspaper. You've wrecked an individual's life by asking him to carry the threat out. Andy Sanu has made it clear to me that this is not up to me and him to judge this. This is up to the weight of the law, the, the courts and the RCMP to come in and charge him. Marcus Dow's, the CPA, needs to lose his CPA license for in a, a whole month and is still backing Dave Sanu in this election. Dave Sudhu is being rewarded in the city by Ross Siemens because he propped them up. Ross has a whole month to issue the statement that I never asked Dave Sudhu to pull you out of the debate. Dave Sudhu did that to help Ross as he propped Ross up. But he also damaged Marty Sandu, Alex Mitchell, and everybody else, and Rianne, everybody else, for Dave Sudhu to win. I agree with your dad, Dave Sudhu. The law must come in. You never deserve to hold office. But here's where I miss a little bit differ with your dad. As the chancellor of the university, you should have removed him. The man that carried the threats, you should have called the RCMP and investigated. Who knows when Trudeau comes or when the conservative leaders come and want to speak there, what kind of threat this man does. Who knows what other threats this man has used in the university. We must clear that path. That means that gentleman has to be charged. So to Dave Sudhu and your wife, you have to get an extra room ready because you wrecked this guy's life at the university. He will tell the truth what's one asked, Andy or him. Andy has made it clear that it was not him yesterday. I was at the Abbotsford newspaper to invite him to Andy's speech, as Andy Sudhu is their competition, being the Capitra newspaper. But Andy, again, has said, it was not me. My son used my name, and I didn't pull that favor. Mr. Sudhu, you are the chancellor of the university. You should have called the RCMP in because that was a threat on a candidate and a citizen, a resident, and a human being. And this is Canada. This ain't the United States, Mr. Sudhu. And we're a month after the election. And the cheater has still got his sign up. And reward Ross, instead of fixing this, Ross, you're rewarding this cheater in the city. Strip him of everything, call him out, 
and doing this. He's wrecked everybody's life. So I am the Sudu. I agree with you. We go all the way. You want the law, and I want the law, and Abbotsford wants the law. And cheaters like this, Ross Siemens, the Chamber of Commerce, Greg Tolles, must be held accountable so they never do this. Because what's coming in the next election, men like this will kidnap you or threaten you till you remove so he can get the chair for the money. I'm live here on Riverside, Dave Sudu, and this is what your dad said yesterday in a live statement to me. Live out of Abbotsford, British Columbia.